this is going to be the sawmill update video for January, what's today, the 19th, 2018. And there's not been a lot going on around here for the past week or so. We've got a lot of snow and some cold weather here for the past eight or nine days. And my little boy's been out of school, so I've been watching him every day, and it's really put a damper on my workload. I've not got out in the woods at all. I've not turned the sawmill on. I've not done anything productive as far as the sawmill part goes since we put the uh, fetching arch together last week. Got cats running around here everywhere. We have three outside cats and two inside cats. And our newest cat, we call her Mama, she is very demanding. But anyways, guys, there's another one. They're everywhere. Cats everywhere. So just a little update, guys, on what's going on around here, which ain't a whole lot. But I got some things in the works I was going to give you all some uh, information on, talk about some things going on here on the channel in the next few weeks. Now next week is supposed to be some clear weather and the schools will be back open hopefully. So I should be getting out in the woods next week and putting that fetching arch to use over there. And I got this new drone so I should be able to get some pretty good footage showing the trees coming down from the sky. I got an email from a subscriber last week, John Davis I think was his name, and uh, he asked me if I could recommend any more woodworking books for him. He bought the George Nakashima book that I recommended last month. And if you've not seen that video, I'll leave a link down below talking about that book if you're interested in it. But what I'm reading right now is the One Man's Wilderness here. This is the third time I've read this book. And it's uh, it's about Dick uh, Pernicke. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Richard uh, Pernicke who went up to Alaska. A lot of you guys have probably seen that video. Uh, he did a documentary on it, or he filmed himself doing it and they done a documentary years later. But he went up to Alaska in 1968 and took a journal with him and all the hand tools required to build a log cabin. And he took an old video camera, old reel-to-reel -reel type camera, I believe, and he used that to kind of document with written word and also with a video of his uh, adventure up there in Alaska. And this book is a collection of his journals. And there's another book I have also, which I just got the other day, which I didn't know even existed. And that's even more of his uh, journal entries, but this is more like it tells a story of what he did and also has journal entries accompanying the stories that goes along. And there's also a video that PBS aired, and I'll leave a link down below also to the book, and I'll leave a link down to the video. They're excellent to watch, but it's about an hour long. And it used to be on YouTube, but I believe it got took down for copyright reasons, but I'll, I'll put a few clips of it in the first of this video, and it probably won't get flagged, but we'll see what happens with that. But anyways, the documentary is great. It shows him up there in Alaska by himself out in the forest harvesting timber, using a double bed axe and a gouge to notch all his logs for his cabin. It's uh, inspired a lot of people nowadays. There's another channel called uh, My Self Reliance. I'm a big fan of that guy. And uh, if you've not heard about him, I'll put a link to his channel down below also. But anyways, John asked me another recommendation and there it is. I'm getting on Amazon, I'll leave a link down below to the book and to the video. So uh, if you want to check that out, it's a really good reading right here. Also, I'm going to be doing something similar right over here on this concrete pad beside the kiln. Now another project I've been working on here is putting the siding on the kiln. This is long overdue. I should have had it done already. But I sawed up this red oak back in October. And it's still pretty green. It's uh, one inch, six inches wide, one inch thick. And uh, we're doing a board and batten here all around the kiln, including the front of it. It's going to look really good when it's done. I've not really done a video on this. I've done most of this off camera. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this going on. And uh, if you're on Instagram, look me up on there, Out of the Woods Forestry, because a lot of the stuff that never makes it to YouTube, I put on Instagram. If the weather's good tomorrow, I'm going to get out here and try to start putting on some of my battens and putting on my seals, which are going to be white oak for the top and the bottom. And if you guys are interested in uh, kind of me talking more about this board and batten siding and doing a video tomorrow showing how to install it then let me know in the comments below well, this oak here is actually quarter sawn a lot of people would be really tore up to see me using it for siding but I got plenty of red oak well here's what we're going to be doing I've been threatening this for a while and we're finally going to do it here before springtime hopefully or at least get it started using a lot of the hemlock and white oak I already got on the ground and maybe a little bit of the cherry and walnut. I got some really small walnut logs. They're about 10 inches through the middle. Make some nice beams. But anyways, uh, this camera angle's not the best. That's uh, sitting up on the sawhorse out here, so I don't know what to make do. 
there's a concrete pad right beside the kiln that was left over after we built the kiln and the pad dimensions are 14 by 17. So what we're gonna do is build a small two-story building right here for processing slabs and lumber and also for sharpening bandsaw blades when my sharpener gets here. Because I left enough uh, spare circuits when I pulled power over to the kiln where I can run 220 out here if I need to. So that's what we're going to do right here on this concrete pad I'm standing on. And that will be more than enough room here to make a decent sized building, about 400 square feet total. Because I'm going to have a little lean-to on the side, which will get the square footage right to about 400. Now I got a lot of hemlock on the ground and wide oak, like I said before, that I'm going to be using here. What I'm going to try to do is use two different ways of building. I'm going to use timber frame style building methods and also some log cabin style building methods as well. I've been talking to Jacob a lot lately. He's the founder of the uh, John Neiman Tools. They call it the North Mean Guild now. And uh, he built a similar building. Of course, it's a home using a really neat kind of construction that I liked where he used timber frame and log cabin styles both as one. And I'm going to try to uh, kind of mirror some of his construction methods. And if you've not seen the video on that, you must be living under a rock. And I'll put a link down below to it because it shows the entire process on how he built the cabin that he lives in over in the, his country. Lativa, Lata I can't pronounce it, but uh, it's over in Europe. So it should make for a pretty interesting build here. The thing I need here is storage for killing dried lumber. I don't have it. And I don't do a lot of uh, one by materials. I do nothing but slabs. And in the future, I'm gonna do a few uh, business orientated videos here because I get tons of business questions through email and people calling me wanting to know how they can be profitable uh, running a sawmill. So I'm gonna try to start covering that a lot more here in the future on the channel. But anyways, in closing here, this is coming up sooner than later because I gotta have this little uh, pad here covered. And I might as well make it a pretty interesting structure on top of that and do something I've never done before. And next week, we're gonna start dropping some timber and get the wood miser running again. I've gotta change the oil on the sawmill at the first of the week, do some maintenance on it. I'm gonna video that. I've not done any maintenance videos either on the sawmill. So I'll do a little video showing how I'll do the maintenance of it and how simple it is to maintain those sawmills. They're pretty simple. I appreciate you guys watching these videos and liking and subscribing and sticking with me because there's a lot of good stuff coming. And we've got a lot of neat new tools here to use here at the sawmill. So if you haven't done it already, hit that like button. I don't know what in the world you're waiting on. If you've not subscribed to this channel, you might as well. And on top of that, there's a lot of stuff coming here the next few weeks. I've been pretty slow here since Christmas due to the weather and the holidays. But we're going to start kicking it up a notch here this year and start getting some good videos coming out. And uh, one more reminder, if you want to see me talk about and install some of this board and batten siding here on the kiln, and leave me a comment below because it's Friday and I'm going to try to get out here Saturday and Sunday and finish this wall and start putting up my batten strip. So if you guys are interested in seeing me do that, leave me a comment below. And if you like this video, leave me a comment also. Don't just hit the like button. Let me know below what you think about it. So anyways, guys, take care and we will see you maybe this weekend.